Hey guys, what's going on? It's me, Tasha, and I'm back to give you guys another recap of Season 10 BET Sunday Best. Guys, it's the top three. We're going to find out who's going to the finals next week, and then it will be up to us. Well, not then, but now it's up to us to decide who's going to win the competition and be our Season 10 champion for Sunday Best, all right? But before we get into that, you guys have been rocking with me this whole time. You know what's up. Time for our church announcements. Make sure you go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe to this channel. I don't know what other shows we'll pick up and discuss. Maybe we'll just do some vlogging or whatever, but it's been a real joy being back on YouTube and talking with you guys and hanging out, all right? Anyway, go ahead and make sure you also follow me on social media, at It's Me Tasha, all right? That's on Twitter, that's on Instagram, and if you find my Facebook, go ahead and send me a friend request. You might sit in my inbox for a little while, but I eventually will become friends, all right? <laughs> all right, you guys, let's go ahead and get into it. Our top three, Jamal Roberts, Jada Spite, and Miss Stephanie Summers are our top final three contestants. Tonight, two chances to sing. They're going to sing an original song as well as a song that they pick for themselves because tonight's theme is Who Am I? So we get to see kind of like who the world thinks they are and who they really think that they are. All right, so that's kind of an interesting thing to psychoanalyze and everything. But opening up tonight's show was Mr. Marvin Sapp, Pastor Marvin Sapp himself. I'm not the biggest Marvin Sapp fan. I just, just That's just me. But I did like this song that they did tonight. It was called, um, I wrote it down, I Thank You For It All. The background people sounded really nice. And he was in his designer shirt. Probably cost him a couple thousand dollars. But, you know. It, you label whoring it all. Just y'all wear y'all labels, okay? Even Kurt was wearing his Dior label designer sweatshirt too. So I'm just jealous because I can't afford it. All right. <laughs> anyway, I I like this song, so that will make two Marvin Sapp songs that I really like. And no, never would have made it. Is not one of my favorites. I'm just we just put that out there. But anyway, let's get into this competition, okay? Because y'all are ruthless on Twitter. Listen, I did not realize how strong some feelings were for certain contestants and other not. Like, I did not know a lot of people don't like Jada. A lot of people don't like Jada. A lot of people like Jamal. A lot of people don't like Jamal. <laughs> it's pretty consistent when it comes to Stephanie. Um... Ashling had a lot, a lot of fans that she that liked it. A lot of people were disappointed that she went home last week. But hey, all's fair in love in gospel music. All right, let's get into it. First, starting things off is uh, Warren Sapp. No, said Warren Sapp. What? He's a football player. Warren Campbell, Erica's husband. Good gracious. Okay, Erica's husband, Warren Campbell, <laughs> is coming and he's mentoring and he's giving our contestants original songs. Now, these are songs that we kind of think this is probably what their album is going to sound like or this is kind of the genre of music that we can hear them doing, all right? So, Jada Spite is up first. He gives her this song called Jesus. I liked it. It had a nice little CCM kind of uh, black CCM groove to it. So I liked it. She was doing her thing with it. I think she struggled a little bit with some of the vocals, but that also may be because of the tone and texture of her voice. It's not always 100% for me, but I love her energy and her performance. So that's what really brings her voice and everything for me together. And it's different. It's not going to sound... She's, she don't sound like everybody else out here, okay? So that's what I like about Jada. She did all right, you know what I'm saying? The judges thought she did pretty good, and she did her thing. Next up coming after that was Jamal Roberts. Now, he did a song that Warren gave him called Come On. I like this because it kind of had like that late 80s, early 90s groove with it, so I was there with it. I was feeling it. Um, Jamal did his thing trying to sing the song. He did as well as he could, but he just that, that connection was gone. Jamal's first two performances on this show, when he did um, Forever, and when he did Forever My Lady, and even when he did Jesus is the Center of My Life, Jamal was doing pretty good, but he has just been slowly declining, and maybe the wool has been washed away from my eyes, and <laughs> now I'm seeing it because I was like, yo, you're really disappointing me now, Jamal, you know? Everybody sees this potential in you, your artistry can be there. We can see this, but it just did not come through together, okay? So, yeah, yeah. It, 
I don't know. I don't know. Last but not least in this round was Miss Stephanie Summers. And uh, Warren gave her a song called Reach Back. And it was totally her. I mean, this is her lane, her groove, what she's used to. It was traditional, yet it had a contemporary slight to it. So she killed it. You know, Stephanie won round one um of tonight so you can she one point for her zero for the other two contestants i mean some people felt that it wasn't fair in that i can see that i give you that she was given a song that really did fit her the other two jamal and jada kind of had to wrestle and make themselves fit into the song Jada's song sounded really good and it seemed like something that i would hear on the album from her jamal he can do that kind of music too um later on he says that that song was not him but honestly jamal <laughs> yes it can be you you he, he, i don't know who's wrong is it the producer or the artist what was going on there i don't know um, to me i think the producer did well you know has the ear sees the potential it is something that you can do but the artist was like nah i can't do this because it's not me i don't know Anyway, let's get to round two. Okay, so round two, the contestants get to choose a song that they feel is them. It fits them. It's their message. This is who I am. This is probably maybe the kind of music that I want to do if I had to do my own record. All right, so Jada comes back out, and she picked Be Grateful. I was ready for this. I was like, yo, she going to rock this. First of all, I like this song because it fits her voice and her tone and texture of her voice. So she did great for me with that. I love that she was into it. She was doing her thing. At the end of her song, the judges gave her the critique that it seems like every time she performs, she always tries to, you know, hurry up and get to the end of the song so that she can have her own little personal worship time. And they wanted her to incorporate that energy and I guess maybe that feeling that she has into her performance. Don't wait for the end of the song to end and then be like, okay, now I can worship and thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Do all that while you're singing. <laughs> you know, while you're in the midst of performing because it all has to mix. That's the tricky part with doing gospel. We're ministering and you're, there's ministry, there's entertainment, there's performance, there's artistry, there's creativity, and it all has to come together. So that's what they want Jada to put everything together. Don't have these little separate moments. Okay. Put it all together and give us everything at once so she did good with her song be grateful jamal came up next and he chose vashawn mitchell's turning it around for me now this is my thing with jamal okay jamal get you picked this song you said this is you straight up and down he threw a little shade at warren saying that that was not me that's not the kind of music <laughs> that i'm gonna do or that i want to do i don't know but you know okay we'll roll with it J jamal sounded good but he's still got the same critiques that he's been getting for the past three or four weeks now, maybe. Um, that is, he's just not connecting. He's not showing us fully him. Uh, is it's the joy that he had when he mentioned that his daughter was watching him. And by the way, whose idea is it to to, to turn the cameras around and show who's in the rooms? Well, that didn't quite go over well. I get it because when we're live in studio we sometimes bring the people's family so when they're on stage and they're performing the cameras will sh you know show their family and the audience or whatever and i think that's the kind of feeling that they were going for it just seemed a little awkward to me okay but anyway i digress jamal i don't know i, I was still a little disappointed in him and everybody sees the potential in jamal but he just kind of keeps coming up a little short and and i don't we, we don't know what's going on there. It ain't for us to know. God works in mysterious ways. Anyway, last but not least, closing things out for us in this round is Stephanie. She chose Never Be Defeated, Rich Tolbert. And when I saw that they were doing a Rich Tolbert song, I was hoping that it was going to be Isn't He Beautiful? But Never Be Defeated is also great as well. So she picks this song, and of course she kills it. She slays it. And Stephanie, like they say, has been consistent, even though she's been in the bottom once. But she's she's consistent um would i like to see her be pushed a little bit into maybe another genre yes and we have seen that once from her um i don't think it was that big of a push but i would like to see what she would do with a song that sounds like something like what was given to jada by warren i don't know i think that she could do it and she will have no problems with it so well, we get to our deliberations, people. The judges are there, and it's going to be tough because there's 
great potential in all three. Um, we've already lost some great singers already, and this is who we with now. And they decide that they're going to send it to the finales, Miss Jada Spike and Stephanie Summers. So that means Jamal Roberts is going home, people. And there's a lot of people out there on Black Twitter who are upset. You would have never guessed that they would have went to church today by the way they was tweeting. I'm just saying. But anyway. They are upset that Jamal has gone home. They are done and over it with BET. I'm not upset. Um, I'm just upset because I don't know who really I'm going to vote for. Because I feel like it's apples and oranges. And I like both apples and oranges. So, <laughs> I don't know. But you guys, listen. You can go to BET.com. I think it's slash Sunday Best Vote or something like that. I'll put the link down in the description bar. I think we get to vote as many times as we want. So, listen. If your fave don't win next week, it ain't going to be nobody's fault but you, okay? And um, don't be mad at the rest of us. If we don't vote the way that you want to vote, just make sure y'all go out there and vote out Trump in November, okay? This is a practice run for what we got to do in November, all right? So let's show up and show out. Go to BET.com slash Sunday Best Vote or whatever it is. Get the link down there and vote for your fave, okay? Thank you guys so much for rocking out with me during this time. I will see you guys for the finale video i promise i know last season i didn't do a finale video i don't know why i don't, i had it had to be something with my schedule but i'm proud of myself for what i've been doing this season okay i'm being consistent because i got some but jay is out there and jay keeps me very um what's the word uh wait what's the word it escapes me he's my um accountable yeah that's what it is he keeps me accountable okay <laughs> shout outs to you jay thank you for rocking with me buddy i love you i will see you guys next week um i really i don't know who i'm voting for i really don't i'm gonna have to pray about that thing all right <laughs> i'll talk to you guys later see you next week thank you for watching peace